All right, brand new adventure today. I'm with Bill, who has actually uh, been hunting that direction now for about 20 minutes. I had to talk to my lawyer about, oh, I went before the county commission and uh, they, <laughs> they basically said, we're not gonna answer any more questions. Good day, sir. <laughs> and kicked me out, so that was fun, but I'll be back. Anyway, um, we're on uh, one of his permissions. And this is a section of the farm he says he's never really checked. Now right down through there's a little stream that I went over and uh, I'll, I should have showed it to you when I was walking over it. Uh, but there's a nice old home site just on the other side. So I came over to this side of the creek. It's a little grown up, but you notice that, you know, it's going uphill and the trees are changing. So we're out of the immediate floodplain and there's looks like some stacked rocks in here. And uh, it's very possible that there's going to be a home site on this side of the creek as well. So what I'm going to do is start at one end of the property and work my way through the woods. The uh, property line is somewhere in here. There's a barbed wire fence. We haven't crossed it yet. Let's see if we can find a brand new home site that's never been detected. So I'm still going through the woods, not getting too many signals yet, but I saw this thing hanging in the tree and my heart like stopped because I thought it was a Sam Squanch hand. <laughs> still not sure what it is, but that's bizarre. I guess, the, oh, you know, that must be like gloves that are turned inside out. Isn't that weird? I thought it was like a mummified uh, Sasquatch hand. <laughs> so I still haven't found a spot, but I'm just really trying to get around to Bill uh, so I can tell him what it looks like up here. I'm having to walk through a lot of this brush that's pretty thick. I'm just using this log as a bridge, but uh, we, we only have maybe a week at best before this is totally overgrown in here. You see everything sprouting out. Absolutely love this kind of area where you have these nice limestone outcroppings and woods and trees and grass. Troll trains. Uh, it could be caves in here. So we'll be looking for those and we're going to look for some more real mushrooms. All right, uh, I see some fields right there. That might be about where Bill is. I'll get back at you in a few minutes, but let me go ahead and find him and give him, uh, give him the lowdown on what I'm thinking about this spot. Finally ran into Bill. He's down here by the stream where it's nice and cool, but not really because it's in the sun. And he actually has found some stuff already. I believe, I don't know if that's pewter or that's um, yeah, tombat. It's too rough for a tombat. Yeah, um, you just found this big old I chunk of iron. Big old chunk of metal. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the type of things I see around old dams, you know, mill dams and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know if that's what it was, but I mean, how'd that thing get out of here? And this is old. This is hand forged. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely. So you're onto something, man. Awesome. There's a little stream over here that comes whipping around here. This is the property line. And it's a nice, cool water stream full of snapping turtles. You think I ought to concentrate down here a little bit? I would. You see some little waterfall areas? Yeah, it looks like almost yeah. like it's carved out for a little bathhouse really? down there. Yeah, it's oh, okay. Good. Well, we'll go check that out while we're here and uh, try to find at least one relic <laughs> so I can relax. <laughs> <laughs> Caught that out of the corner of my eye just now. <laughs> I'm like, it kind of scared me for a second, but it's just the cow skull. Bill's right over there. And I guess this is actually the area where he was talking about the little pools and stuff in the rocks. Nice pool right there. I'm sure there's probably a few trout laying in there. This stream does hold trout for sure. You see another little waterfall up that way. So this is a cool area, man. I like it. Almost tempted to get naked up and jump in. Let's see what she is. It might be a giant piece of iron too. Did you hear it scrunch? Uh, this is close to where Bill found that big spike, so it might be a pot shard or something. No, it's not a pot shard. What is it? That is a... looks like maybe part of a... some type of cutting knife, cutting blade, maybe? Yeah, it's like a sickle almost. I think that's what that is. Yeah, that's a dull end right there, and that's a sharp. So that's part of a... some type of a cutting knife, whether it's a corn knife or uh, part of something to cut hay. I don't think it's like a uh, knife for cutting meat or anything because it's too light, but. All right, so artifacts in the area. Bill is doing good, and uh, we just need to find one piece of copper, brass, or tomback, or silver, and get on the board so we can relax. I wanted to show you this real quick. Uh, these are irises. These would have been something that was planted by man, or could have possibly washed downstream in a flood. 
Now that next farm over has a really old home site that was loaded with irises. So that might be what happened with these. They might've just washed down over the years. Yeah, so you guys will appreciate this. I was just over here by this tree digging and the big old bumblebee was flying around me. I'm like, oh, a bumblebee must be ground bees down here. Cause I did a video about that the other day, but he took off. I moved over here and I was digging right there and something came up and nailed me on the neck right here. So I'm assuming it was another bumblebee that I didn't see until too late. Um, but yeah, so if I go into anaphylactic shock, be sure to tell Bill um, that I might need help. <laughs> I actually don't see any more flying around, but he got me way over here, which is kind of weird. Because um, when I first saw the big one, he was over, over by that tree. Man. And bumblebee. I said I shouldn't have put that bumblebee in the video the other day and he's told everybody that I'm out here <laughs> and we were the chig. That's where the bumblebee attacked me and Bill's kind of working that area. I just found this little piece of lead right here that although I don't exactly know what that goes to or what it might have been it looks like it could be pretty old. So Bill and I decided to change it up a little bit. Uh, we were down in those trees which is actually across the stream looking around. Bill actually found a few things. I got a couple buttons and a cufflinks and stuff. I didn't do so hard at a piece of lead. But anyway, so we're back. Uh, we came over to the other side of the stream. Uh, there's an old home site right over in there that Bill's detected. And we have as well. And there's an old home site up there that we have made a video at. Anyway, I got my first good signal here that is, well, it's good sounding, but it's also a good, good target. I can see it. I have not looked at it yet, but I know what it is. Do you see it? <laughs> I think that's going to be a coin and I would guess like a half penny or a half cent by the size of it. Could be a button. I'll know as soon as we flip it over. All right, it's a coin, which is probably a half cent or a half penny. I imagine that's going to date to the 1700s. Can't say 100%, but I'm pretty sure. All right, first uh, signal here, first good signal. Took a few shotgun shells, a little bit of iron. Bill's over there just the other side of my truck and we got a coin the coin right up there just a little bit i got another good squeaker here that i'm hoping is uh, at least a good button or something could be a coin and i'm just hoping it's not a shotgun shell i thought we'd try to dig it together <laughs> so it's gonna be that which looks like a piece of pewter spoon or something is it yeah that's exactly what it is what we have here is a flattened piece of pewter and i'm going to guess that is part of a spoon bowl uh, that's been flattened out. So there's a little bit of iron in here. Not a lot. Like I said, detected a house right up there a little ways. And right over in there is the house with the endless loops of the cow bones. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we seem to be on something else here. Not big. It's not a ton of iron, but we've got a pewter spoon bowl, a part of it, and a coin. So let's keep at it. Bill's right there at the truck. So a part of a pewter spoon bowl. And a coin. Over there? Yeah, right here. Awesome. Yeah, not a lot of iron, but you know, some stuff scattered around over here if you want to come over. Yeah, there's a lot of iron over here. Yeah, I, you know, I didn't get any good signals except shotgun shells over there. Yeah, I got parts of wagon wheels. Okay. Oh, so this stuff scattered around then. Good coin? Large cent? Yeah, I think it might be a half cent or a half penny. I'm not sure. I didn't really clean it up much, but yeah, it's one of those. It's colonial era. So I just dug them just right here, just now. So, yep, come on over. This field will be growing up in another couple, probably two, two weeks. So we gotta get it while we can. So just dug this little iron buckle. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's definitely a hand forged iron buckle. And um, that's, I found the coin right there. Iron seems to be picking up over here. So I think we're on the verge of finding a nice little home site. I think maybe we're on the edge. Uh, so yeah, that's a really good sign right there. Well, I, I guess you could say finding a colonial coin is a good sign too. But I like my iron, you know the chick. So I had an interesting signal there. So I went ahead and dug it up and it's actually like a chain with a swivel on the end of it. I'm not sure what this could have gone to. Could be most anything really, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. I haven't really found too many like that. I can't say what, how old it is. I'm not sure of the age, but I'm definitely gonna keep that one for my collection. Some iron, what do you make of it? Oh, that's kind of, dude. 
I know what that is. Surprisingly, I can tell you exactly what that is. What is it? That is the breech plug to a uh, musket. Really? The barrel would screw into the end right here. Yeah. And that's how you could take that off to get to the end of the musket. There See the big there. threads? Yep. So that's pretty cool. That's a, uh, you know, it's probably a, more of a colonial era item than it is a Civil War item, but. Where's the rest of it, man? Where's the big old brown bass bayonet? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Actually, it's too small to be, I think, to like a military yeah. caliber, but that's still cool. Yeah, I think we might be onto something. I'm getting into a lot of iron right here. I haven't really dug any other non ferrous stuff, but let's get back at it. It's a good way to end the day, dude. <laughs> it's a good way to end the day. And a beautiful day it's been. Oh, he's a cutie. There's a lot of metal in the ground right here. Is there? Oh, yeah. Good, good. Like right over in there. In the okay. Room. It's just solid. Excellent. That's a nice oldie. It's 1700s, I'd say. Sweet. All right, man. We're on it now. Does yeah. it have like an eagle with a, holding a pitchfork on it or anything? <laughs> I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> it's late in the day, Bill. I'm thirsty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Never seen that button. Either way. <laughs> Who knows though, it could be. You go with a pitchfork. Yeah, little cutie. Oh, he's, she's a pretty one. Still got the shank. Yeah. Oh, is that a bird cage shank? Mm. Dude, I think it is. I think it is. Maybe. No, I'm not sure. It might just be like folded over weird. Uh, yeah, that's good, man. Congratulations. So I'm digging stuff, but just not buttons, just uh, shotgun shells and rifle casings. But there's stuff in here, right? No. Just gotta slow down a little you, bit. You need to go <laughs> yeah, there's iron. I'm getting like digging pieces of pottery, and um, but I just still you know, haven't gotten over that good squeaker since uh since that coin and <laughs> the spoon. <laughs> we have a couple more minutes. Maybe we'll find one more target. Got a nice iron signal right there, and I popped it out of the ground. And when I first saw it, I thought it was like maybe a horseshoe or something. Do you know what it is? Well, I'm thinking this is a. I was thinking it's a blade to a knife, like a curved knife. Not 100%, I mean, almost could be <laughs> like an ice skate too. I'm not really sure, but. A scalping knife, maybe that's what this is. It's an Indian scalping knife. Could be. All right, let's find a uh, George Washington button. We'll call it a day. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your...